Now, if you wanna charge taxes on your e-commerce website, you can also do that with WooCommerce, but we have to enable that feature first. So here in the WordPress dashboard, let's go to WooCommerce and click on settings. And then here under general, let's scroll down and next to enable taxes, let's tick this option, enable tax rates and calculations. Then let's scroll down and click on save changes. And now up here, we can see a new tab called tax. So let's click on it. And here we can now set up our tax rates. So first I'm gonna show you how to manually add your tax rates here. And then I'm gonna show you another way how to automate calculating your tax rates using a plugin. So to enter our tax rates manually, we can just click on standard rates up here, then insert a new row. And now I'm gonna make an example with Switzerland because that's where I live and we have a statewide tax of 8.1%. So first I'm gonna to have to enter the country code right here, but we can also look for it by just typing in the country name. So here it is, Switzerland, and the country code is CH. Then because it's a statewide tax, I don't need any state code here and also no postcode, zip code, and no city. And the tax rate is 8.1%, and the name is VAT, value added tax. And then we have the shipping option right here, which is ticked, which means that the tax rate will also be charged on the shipping price. If that's not the case for your area, you can just uncheck this option. Now let's click on save changes and then let's see if this works by going to our online store, going and opening up our shopping cart, then proceed to checkout. And here currently we don't see any tax rate that is added to the price. And this is because the country region is selected to the United States. But when we change this to Switzerland, then we can see the VAT, the value added tax is added it's going to be $8.92, which is 8.1% of the $110. So now we can go back to WordPress and add as many tax rates as we want for as many areas as we want. And up here, you can see that there are different types of rates as well that you can enter, like the reduced rates. For example, many countries will have products where they charge less tax on, like medical products or books and stuff like that. And if you are selling these on your store, you can add separate tax rates for those products. And once you add them in WooCommerce, you can set the tax rate you wanna use for that product. And you can also change the name of these additional tax rates by going to tax options. And then here under additional tax classes, you can change the name and you can also add more tax rates by just entering a new line and then adding the name of this tax rate. And now if you actually have any products on your store where this special tax class will apply, you can set that up in products. So let's go to products right here. Then let's say this is a product where the special tax class will apply. So let's click on edit. Then let's scroll down and go to product data. And here under tax class, we can change it from standard to reduced rate or to zero rate. And then you definitely wanna go through these options as well and make sure it's set up correctly for your business. So for example, here for prices entered with tax, it's set to, I will enter prices exclusive of tax, which means that if I enter a product for $40, then at the checkout, the tax will be added onto those $40 and it's not included in the $40. If you wanna have it included, then you need to change the option to yes, I will enter prices inclusive of tax. But I'm gonna switch it back to this option for now. Then we have calculate tax based on. This is also very important because for example, in the US, some states are charging tax based on your shop location and not on the location where you are shipping to. So if you are in California, for example, then you need to set it to shop base address, which means that the taxes that you have to charge are based on your business location and not on the destination location. So let's go ahead and save our changes. And now I'm gonna show you a very easy way how you can automate your tax rate calculation using a plugin called WooCommerce Shipping and Tax. But before we do that, I wanna quickly show you what countries that plugin works for. 
So right here, we have a list of all of the countries where this automated tax plugin works for. So we just wanna take a quick look if the country where you do business is actually on this list. And if yes, then I recommend to use this method. And if it's not on this list, then you probably wanna enter your tax rates manually as we've just done before. So let's go ahead and install this plugin by going to plugins, add new plugin, and then let's type in WooCommerce tax and install this plugin right here, install now and activate. Then let's go back to WooCommerce settings. And now before we can enable this feature to automate our tax calculation, we first need to connect our website to wordpress.com. So right here, let's click on connect and click on continue. Then we wanna to go to our email inbox and look for an email from wordpress.com saying connect to WooCommerce shipping and tax. So let's open this email and then here click on connect. And now our site is connected. So we can go back to our tax settings. And here we now have automated taxes, which we can enable by just switching it to enable automated taxes. Then scroll down and click on save changes. And now in order for this to work correctly, you wanna make sure that you enter your shop or business location correctly here in WooCommerce. So here under general, here under store address, you wanna make sure to enter your store address. 